Hi and welcome to Green Tubers. Uh, today's episode I'm going to have a go at growing my own mushrooms. The general idea for growing your own mushrooms is simply to infect a, a log. Um, and how you do that is you get um, a drill and drill holes in various points along the log and then you insert these little wooden dowels um, and the dowels themselves are already um, covered in mushroom spawn um, and then essentially that's it then you wait a couple of years and then hopefully your log will be covered in, in mushrooms or at least that's the idea. Uh, now I've got a little kit uh, from a company called um, Anne for Fungi or Anne Miller's Mushrooms uh, which contains uh, most of the bits and pieces you need. So I've actually got three different types of mushroom, three different types of mushroom spawn. I've got winter, uh, oyster and shiitake and then on top of that I've got uh, an appropriately sized uh, drill bit. In fairness I probably already had one of those. Um, and I've also got some wax and a little um, applicator brush. And the idea for this is um, that you want to give your fungi uh, absolutely the best chance of survival and the best chance of taking over the log and, uh, and make it harder for other types of fungi spawn which will inevitably be floating around and the wax by sealing in the, um, the wooden dowel, by sealing in the plug, you're preventing the other fungi from getting in there. Now ideally you should also seal up any other cut surfaces so uh, these logs here have got um, some, some cuts on where some of the branches have been taken off ideally they should be entirely sealed up with wax as well uh, but I probably haven't got enough for that um, so I know I'm not doing this in the perfect fashion but uh, just because it's imperfect doesn't mean it won't work so I'm just going to have a go anyway and fingers crossed obviously I won't know the, the results for a while. Um, now. The logs you choose should be um, a hardwood, some, some work better than others, apparently oak's perfect. These are actually um, older um, from um, a tree that was storm damaged last year and the farmers cut down in the field next to us so uh, he was kind enough to give me some logs. I think they should be between 50 centimetres and a metre long. Um, they're about the right thickness but they're not probably long enough um, but uh, we're, we're stuck with what we've got and we'll, and we'll give it a whirl. So, uh, let's try. So while I'm doing the drilling, I'm going to uh, get, the, uh, get the wax melting on this um, camping stove. In order to get the dowels into the wood, I, I need to drill a hole, but the hill needs to be, according to the instructions, about 50% longer than the dowel itself. So I'm gonna mark off where that is roughly on my drill bit, and then I'm gonna get a bit of tape and tape around there so that I know the right depth. And now I can start drilling some holes. Let me just check that again. That looks about right. Now you do holes lengthways first and you do them about six inches apart which is give or take that much. And then you do another row and then you do them in between and only about two or three inches that way. At least according to the instructions, so let's try that.
Right, the drilling's all done, so now we're going to put the dowels in. We're going to start off with the shiitake mushrooms, the shiitake plugs, and Oliver here is going to do the hammering. Okay, love. There you go. Might want to use another one, poke that down a bit further. There you go. We've now drilled all the holes in the log and put the dowels in. It was pretty straightforward actually. We ended up with none left over, so that was a lucky coincidence. And it's now time to go around with our little wax brush and the um, wax, which is now nicely heated up in the pan, and go around and try and uh, seal up all these holes. Okay, I'll do a couple of them and then you can take over, all right? Woo! This log's all finished, so we're now going to get on with the other ones and then um, stack them up. was relatively straightforward. All of the logs, I say all of them, three of the logs, um, one for each of the three varieties we've got, um, they've been drilled, plugged with the um, spawn dowels and then uh, waxed over. So the last thing to do is to find them a resting place. They should be somewhere relatively cool, dark and shady, kind of the sort of places you might expect to grow mushrooms I guess. Um, luckily we've obviously got a bit of woodland uh, so uh, I'm going to load the logs into the wheelbarrow and uh, find these logs their home. I think I found a nice spot. There's a pair of ash trees here uh, with a, a, a branch that's fallen off between them and that'll give me something good to lean the mushroom logs up against. Apparently that's what they like. They don't want to be flat against the floor, they want to be a bit of an angle in a, a shady spot. Um, so we're going to stick them there and see how we get on. My mushroom logs are all in place now. This is as much of a my record as anything else. So, if I can remember this right. This one here in the middle is the shiitake mushroom. The oyster mushroom is the one at the far end, the smaller log. And this one here, which is probably the worst candidate log, given that it's all cracked at the top, uh, that one's the, uh, the winter mushroom. So these things are just gonna sit here. It's hard to get excited about it now when it's maybe a year or two away, but uh, fingers crossed I'll be seeing you for another video about the mushrooms at some point in the future with a bountiful harvest. Thanks for watching.